we would have had to start this fake kickboxing career story. What's this? Eleven years bro, ago? I'm not much more than eleven. And I'm twelve. Like, I'm like, bro, I'm like twenty. You're young. And we would have had to make this ago. video with the plan of faking being a kickboxer 13, 14 years later. But go on, play the video, because this is actually a very good video. Why I think I fight. Do I enjoy it? No. Do I enjoy training? No. Do I enjoy cutting weight? No. Am I nervous? Yes. Do I think to myself, what am I doing? Yes. Completely. Unfortunately, it's one of those things you're either born with or you're not. And the only way I can explain it to try and make it make any sense is that if I'm not doing something which is either extremely difficult or extremely stressful, I'm in a perpetual state of crippling boredom. I can't explain it. I see other people live their lives and they're like, oh, I can't wait for the weekend because I want to watch this movie. I think, who cares about a movie? You're looking forward to the weekend for a movie? Looking forward to the weekend to get drunk? Like these things to me are so mundane. They mean nothing. And if I don't fight, if I'm not in a situation where I'm stressed or worried or concerned, I'm just perpetually bored. And boredom's crippling. If you're an intelligent person and you've got a good brain on your shoulders, you can't just sit there bored, you know? So most smart people take the academic route to avoid boredom and they learn, 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 but that's never really interested me either. Although I've always been an intelligent guy and I've always done well academically, it, was, it never really interested me. And then I see people climb Mount Everest or jump off buildings or do base jumping or the guy who jumped from space, people think, what's he doing? He's crazy. I understand because some people can't live normal lives. Some people cannot just function nine to five office job, get drunk at the weekends. That is not for some individuals and it's not for me. So I have to find something which keeps me physically tired enough to stop me going AWOL um, and mentally tired enough. And I've chosen fighting because without this, when I'm not in training, I wake up every day and think, okay, what am I gonna do today? It's 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, I'm bored. Everyone's at work, I'm bored. And I'll end up doing something crazy. I'll either end up drunk or, or on the Eurostar or, you know, it's just, it's just a random lifestyle because I'm constantly looking for never ending entertainment and it doesn't exist. I think the only thing that could stop me fighting is if I had enough money to constantly entertain myself. Unless I'm a billionaire, I need something that keeps me focused and keeps me occupied in life. With fighting, I have to train twice a day and I have to train hard. And the stress can be, the stress it brings in every aspect can replace fun. And my mind is occupied. It occupies me. It's the only way I can try and explain it. It occupies me. And I could never stop doing this even if I lost a hundred fights because I'm not built to live a normal existence. I can't do it. I couldn't just have a kid with some girl and sit at home and work a little bit and relax. I've never relaxed my entire life. I don't know what relaxing is. It's just not me. You know what? I remember that video being made and I remember being in the room while you were saying that. And I remember our, our mindset at the time when we were living that life. And what's super cool to me and I'm being 100% serious for a moment, when he sat there saying, unless I have enough money to keep myself, you know, completely entertained, unless I have, he said billions, but what he meant was tens or hundreds of millions of dollars, then I have to do this. And that's why a lot of fighters end up sad and depressed. And, you know, I'm, I'm very, very proud of my brother. I'm very proud of him because when we made that video, we had no idea. I mean, we, we, we thought we'd get there one day, but now we're sitting here with the hundreds of millions, perfectly happy and content and always entertained and living the best life there is now that we're just about the age where we're too old for fighting. I'm too injured for fighting. You fucking made it, Andrew, and, and well done. But you're not a real kickboxer at CGI. So again, we are the same person. You are an actor. We do run international kidnapping and human trafficking rings. You are an Illuminati free Mason, uh, Mason member, and you are not a real kickboxer. It's all fake and all CGI. So no. all of this is just made up. You're right. You made, there's, a really good, there's a really good point there. And I said it in the video when I was 21 years old, 22 years old. I said, if I had enough money to permanently entertain myself, I wouldn't have to do this. And like you said, we did it just at the right time yeah. because I'm so glad I was poor back then because if I was rich, like these Twitch streaming dorks, I'm doing all these twitches with i wouldn't have had the the mental toughness to go through hell like i did to become world champion so i'm glad i was poor and i'm glad i got rich at the right time so that i could retire from the sport and not have to hold pads in a gym or keep fighting when i'm past it to pay the bills i'm glad i had a very very long career a very very good career an amazing fight record sparked a bunch of people did an amazing job and then I took all my millions and millions and avoided millions of dollars, serious injury, avoided serious injury, took millions and millions and millions of dollars. And now I get to live the life of a retired champion. Women still call me champ around the house. Hey, champ. 